Okay, this time I've got an unboxing of the Airfix 172nd Vickers Valiant. If it's a bit shaky, it's because I'm having to hold the camera up above it because this box is absolutely huge. It's, well, there's my hand. <laughs> it is absolutely massive, this box. It only just about fits on my desk. So uh, when I get round to actually looking at the sprues, I'll be able to set up my tripod. But there we go. So this is the Vickers Valiant kit. Side art. And then we've got more information there. Different details that you get with it. And the recommended paint. This kit has 142 pieces. It's about 50 centimeters wide and about 45 centimeters long. So it's rather a large piece of kit, so we'll uh, crack open this box. So that's the pieces, so hopefully I should be able to set my camera up, okay. Okay, so uh, start off with the parts then, so we've got first, as always, our instruction manual particularly very big instruction manual but there the the good thing about the new airfix kits is they actually have a color paint and decal sheet in the back come on there we go as you can tell it's uh, all color and then on the next page we've got our camouflage one which i tend to use these afterwards as um, display things so I'll uh, scan these pages and then Photoshop out the numbers and then you can use them as like a backdrop to some of your display stands. There you go. And then we've also got a big A3, well no this is two A3 pieces of paper decal placement sheet as well. Huge decal placement sheets. And then we've got our decals themselves. For all three types. So these ones at the bottom are generic to all of the Valiant kits. And then we've got our different roundel markings, different numbers, different squadron markings, interior detail, and all that lot. Okay, then we've got our actual pieces. Again, these are the Airfix's new plastic resin pieces. Very nice plastic indeed, this stuff is. If you caught my uh, video of the Sabre, you would have got a good look at them as well. This is by no means least any different quality in plastic very thick sturdy pieces nice panel lining on these don't know if my camera is actually picking this up very well but very nice panel lining and then we've got our wings and a massive sprue so the wings are all practically one piece it's the upper half of the wing all in one piece practically the good thing is the Vickers Valiant is it is a flying wing, so most of the actual fuselage and wings actually meld themselves together. Then we've got the underside of each piece and the other side. Not a lot of detail on the insides, but you're not going to see that anyway, because where the wheel wells are, there is actually extra detail pieces that I'll show you in a minute that go in there. And we've got big clears. This is one of the first ones, I've had this in my collection for a while, but uh, this is one of the first Vickers Valiant kits that Airfix brought out that actually contained the photo reconnaissance sprue on with the kit. They now sell the photo reconnaissance thing separately, I think it's about £7, but you get the different bay doors and everything. There are two types of canopy for both the reconnaissance and the standard version. This is, so you can't basically mask off the wrong area the frosted areas of these glasses 
are the actual bit where the paint goes so you haven't got to worry about priming or anything because this has actually got a rough texture and the windows are already clear so same on all of the clear pieces i think it's a clever idea so you know where to exactly where to mask your kit this is the bomber version Zoom this out because it's a big sprue big chunky sprue okay so on here we have our wheel wells flaps bombay uh, engine outlets tailplane bay doors open more uh, other side of the flaps interior bay door dis uh, detail sorry bombay stuff and then on the other side like i was saying the inlay for the landing gear is here so if you want to have the landing gear down these pieces here have got all the textures and wiring and what not else you'd expect to find in a bomb uh, in a wheel bay is all in there same on the inside of the bomb bay doors here when you've got them open they're all textured with the girder work this is the bomber sprue with the nuclear weapon so the nuclear bomb these are the standard like carpet bomb ordnance bomb clips for the war uh, for the nuke and then all the different bomb racks another interior this is for the standard bombs so all the bomb racks will glue on here the other ones for the nuclear bomb and then we have our other sprue this appears to be all the interior detail and wheels and whatnot else here's all your landing gear the different nose ends for different marks the engine exhausts the interior cockpit detail the drop tanks all the seats more wheels more internal detail it's a very very uh, detailed kit i'd give you that and that's the vickers valiant so that's a quick look at the valiant kit it's a nice big kit uh, it retails around about the 40 pound range sorry about the little mishap there my battery died but this is a very nice kit pick it up in most model stores i think it is a limited edition kit so if you can find it grab it so thank you very much for watching until next time happy modeling